Name? Sverry Nilsson. Istok. Age? 27. Should I tell? <laughs> 49. Nationality? Denmark. Slovene. Nickname, if any, and if yes, why? I don't think there is one. <laughs> no, it was Chop. That's my family name and can't get any easier than that. Your best result? World Championship uh, silver or the European gold? I guess World Championship title or Olympic gold medal. What does it mean for a top rower like you, the postponement of one year of the Olympic and keep going with the training without any prediction? Uh, it, was, it was quite difficult, um, especially because I was going pretty well when the, when the Olympics were postponed. But uh, I think we handled it pretty well. We, we kind of took a couple of weeks off and uh, tried to have a little bit more fun with the training and not be all that serious. Um, and I think it, it worked out very well. So when the, when the European Championships were, uh, were announced, we could kind of focus in and I wasn't tired of training without a goal. So uh, I think we handled it pretty well. I have no experience, uh, but I guess it's not easy since uh, if you are in top shape last year already, so cancellation of the games is not a good thing. If you're not in good shape or injured, there's a good year, you have one year to recover. If you plan to retire after the Olympics, another problem. And of course, I guess the, the major problem, this uncertainty, if the games will be or not, you know, if the racing is going to happen or not. So we all hope that the race is going to happen this year and that we will have a great fight. In Tokyo. Did you have a top rower that inspired you when you started? Uh, I had a couple of, of uh, rowers. Uh, in Denmark, we had the lightweight men's four. They inspired me a lot. And then we had the lightweight double with uh, Mass and uh, Rasmus. And uh, then a lot of the old single scholars like uh, yeah, Mahi, he's still rowing, but uh, Mahi and Tufte and uh, Thomas Lange and uh, yeah, all of those guys. Not exactly. Uh... I guess I, I looked up first from older generation in my club, which were uh, national team members and then the junior worlds medal winners. And then when I became a national team member, of course, Redgrave, Thomas Lange, Václav Halup, Papierte Karpin, and those were, those were the, the rowers I, I admired. And uh, I was lucky enough to race against most of them and also to manage to beat, to beat them at least once. So uh, I just uh, look up for them, but I didn't admire them especially. Who are your favorite sportsmen in your country in the world? I don't really know. <laughs> uh, everybody that works hard and gets good results, uh, I think, can inspire me. Kind of like Usain Bolt, uh, Matt Fraser, yeah, guy, guys like that. And uh, in Denmark, I think the 4,000 meter uh, track cycling team, they're, they're doing really, really well. I must say that uh, endurance sports are closer to me. So I can say in my country and in the world at the moment, Primoz Roglic, uh, today Pogacar, number one and number two cyclists in the world from the last year and also at the beginning of this year. Which is the Filippi single mold that you prefer for heavyweight men? The F14. Uh, I've tried the F21 and the uh, 39, I think, uh, but uh, the F14 seems to, to fit me well. I like the kind of the response in the in the boat, uh, so it's it's not too big and bulky, and it's kind of uh, there's really good feedback in the boat, I think. So when you're rowing good, you can kind of feel feel it in the in the boat, and uh, if you're rowing poorly, you can also feel that it's it's going really bad. <laughs> Well, my favorite mold is F14. I like this boat, it's a little bit more sensitive, but if you got it right, I think it offers a lot of speed. Uh, and I like that, that demanding boat that you, that you know when you got it right, when you can feel when the boat is running smooth. But if you don't get it right, then probably a bit slower than, than more comfortable, bigger molds. Would you have chosen Istok as a mate in an ideal Filippi double for a gold at the Olympics? <laughs> Uh, if it would be uh, the ideal partner, I don't know, but uh, I think we would probably have rolled pretty well together, me and Istak. Um, but if I had to choose a partner to, to go really fast in the double, I think I would go with the Sinkovic brothers, other, either Valen or Martin. Would you have chosen Zveri as a mate in an ideal Filippi double for a gold at the Olympics? Well, if he agrees, yes, I definitely would. What do you envy to Istok Chop? 
his results. Uh, he's done really, really well, both in the single and the double. He's had a really good, good career. What you envy, Rosberry? At the moment, nice and warm weather in Portugal, uh, and all that he needs to do now is focus on training. But after that, couple of weeks are over. Then the season starts, and there's nothing I uh, then I envy him. Who are your favorites in the single scale in Tokyo this summer? I think the, the big favorites are probably uh, Germany and, uh, and Norway. I think that the field is, is very strong, so I wouldn't be surprised if there were some other single scholars that are getting really good speed in their boat. Definitely him, and I hope he's going to win, uh, but it's going to be tough. I guess there's Chetil from Norway, big German guy, you know, so, uh, and I hope that we're going to see some new names also this year. So I'm looking forward for sure to, uh, very interesting fights and uh, I keep my finger crossed for Prosperity.